Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video, we will do a little review about the debate between Shaber Ali and uh, David Wood. Uh, and the reason I'm doing it actually because some of you guys, you can check my channel, asked me to do so. So uh, it's not really my interest to, to make a review, but let us say it's my interest to show the Christians uh, how they can debate Muslims. I'm not in here to teach David Wood how to debate, this is his business. Uh, and I think he is a, uh, he's a, he's a smart person and he is capable to debate many but you know in some cases uh, I believe that uh, American they should learn uh, generally speaking uh, that debating Muslims it's not about really debating as much it's about playing games so uh, to make it simple it's like hide and seek uh, but there is no really a real debate. If you watch the whole debate, you will not hear real, real, really something uh, real from uh, Shabir Ali. Uh, as an example, Shabir Ali, he says that uh, the, the, the only one to speak about Jesus as the word of God is the book of John. Then later to prove he's a prophet, he's a prophet, he used the book of John. <laughs> you know, and then he, he's trying to convince us that the book of John is written far away from Jesus, but yet when it's come to prove Islam, he used the book of John to prove to us that his prophet is the one who will come after Jesus, which is very, very foolish and very naive. Uh, but this is not the only way to prove Muslims to be naive. You, sh you know, you should, you should learn how to corner them. I think most of you, many of you saw my videos, how I debate Muslims. I don't give them the questions. I don't lay my papers in front of them. I make them talk, and from their talk, I'm going to do what I need to do. Now, if I was in the debate with Shabir Ali, and Shabir Ali come to me with this uh, mathematical argument as an example, you know, what we will see in this debate that when Shabir Ali mentioned this, uh, uh, David, he come with an argument that, you know, there is a mathematical uh, 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 miracle in the Bible, and he mentioned it. And then David would, uh, then uh, Shabir Ali, he said, well, this is uh, another writer. He said, this is not uh, correct, etc. You know, okay. First of all, why we don't listen to the one is debating us? And why we don't uh, prove him wrong right away? Like when, when uh, Shabir Ali, he mentioned this, if I was there, I'm going to destroy him. I am going to destroy him because I'm going to stuck with it and tell him, prove it to me right now. Aren't you reading the paper? You are saying to us, go to this website and study this website and you will see how the number seven work. Can you prove it to me? And then you will see that Shabir Ali is nothing but a copy-paste person because if he really did study what this website is teaching, he will notice that he is a very fool and actually he is already an apostate from Islam. He is already an apostate, and I will show you why. By by choosing this, what it's called mathematical miracle, he chose uh, someone who believed that the Quran is not uh, the way it is today. There's verses should be taken off. So he is making a stupid mistake, accepting that the Quran today we have is corrupt, or at least there's verses are added to the Quran. When the whole debate is talking about who is the one who is adding, who is the one who is preserving. So he mentioned something can prove right away, can kill his debate by mentioning the miracle of number seven. Let us hear Shabir Ali and see and show you how we can refute this uh, uh, Muslim. Abdul Daim Al Kahil uh, has set up a website in which he discusses this in detail and he presented a 274 PDF uh, page document, uh, 274 page PDF document that you can download for free. It is filled with examples of things uh, turning out in the Quran to be multiples of, of seven. Now, there's so many that you can hardly credit this to coincidence. We know that uh, if you pick a number at random, for it to be a multiple of seven, it's, the chances are one out of seven. And two numbers, and, and for both of them to be multiple of seven, the chances are one out of 49. We are seeing multiple and multiple. Yesterday I mentioned uh, a, a passage of the Quran that mentions the number seven, that's uh, the verse 196 of Surah Al-Baqarah. 
Uh, that uh, 196 turns out to be 7 times 7 times 4. So it's uh, 7 twice. So the chances of that is 1 out of 49. Uh, moreover, uh, 7 times 4 is 28. So we can say this is 7 times 28. And what's 28? Uh, mathematicians have the concept of what is called a, a, a perfect number. Uh, only 48 such numbers are known to mathematicians so far. 28 is one of them. Uh, so 28 has the unique uh, distinction that it is what is mathematicians call it call a perfect number, and it also is a multiple of seven. And uh, this verse 196, which mentions the number seven, turns out to be a multiple of seven and 28. It's a very unique number. The chance of getting that particular verse number where the seven is mentioned is one out of 196. It's a very remote chance. But more than this. If we look at the first place where the Quran mentions the number 7 and the last place where the Quran mentions the number 7, we see One that minute. the first mention is in the second chapter in the 29th verse, which means how many verses came before it? 28, or perfect number again. The last mention is in the 78th chapter in the, uh, in the, 20, uh, in the 12th verse. Uh, and that uh, chapter has 40 verses. So how many verses come after the last mention? Also 28, again, of a perfect number. How many verses? Just wait. Just to show you how foolish what this argument is, first of all, all of us, we know that the Quran, the way it is organized today, is not the Quran which organized or given to Muhammad uh, 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 in his lifetime. Uh, all of us, we know that the first one, the first chapter in the Quran was chapter number 96 today, which is supposedly should be verse chapter number one, but the Muslim they add it to be chapter number 96, which can change everything he's talking about. Like now he's talking about the, where is the number seven located as an example. Because if we change that location, we will see that will change everything. Secondly, uh, just to show you how, how Shabil Ali, he don't really read. You see, he memorized. Those Muslims, they memorize things, but they don't really read. If we go to the website of this Abdul, the one who uh, uh, he named him uh, Kahil. Uh, I will go to his website. Hold on. Uh, where is the website? Okay. This is his website. As an example, he says, just to show you the deception, that the first word in the Quran is Bism. That's very uh, false, by the way. Because Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is not even part of the Quran. And I will show you a fatwa from one of the biggest scholars of Islamic Sunni, and Shabir Ali is a Sunni, and he and, and the Sheikh, he, he, he's mentioning the fatwa, is the master of the master of the master of the masters of someone like Shabir Ali. So Shabir Ali is too tiny, too small to stand in front of this person. His name is Ibn Baz. However, we will see here that this guy, he said, that the word Ar-Rahim mentioned in the Quran 115 times. The word Ar-Rahim mentioned in the Quran 115 times. This is false. Why? This is deception. Because either you say the word Rahim or you say Ar-Rahim. And I will show you the difference. If we go, if we go and search for Ar-Rahim, all right, with roots, you don't speak Arabic, but those who speak Arabic, they will know. With roots, which mean whatever word connected to the word Rahim is going to come. That will be 115. But if we will make it only as a word, the word Rahim will appear, look how many times? 95 times. So, why you are saying we are searching for the word Ar-Rahim when you are the fact not searching for Ar-Rahim? You are searching for Ar-Rahim and the word Rahim. You get my point? This is part of the words. So what the Muslim assuming that those letters are extra, we do not need them, so we take them off and then we search by roots and we say, well, you know what? We do not need a Rahim, you know? And uh, 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 there is no need for it. So we take it off. Now, since when Muslims can take off for, uh, letters? So if we search for the word Rahim alone, we will find the following answer. Um, for some reason not coming. We will type it again. Here we go. I'm not sure why it's not coming. 
I found out you should not click uh, uh, enter you should click uh, search anyway so it come only as 95 so which one we will take the word Rahim or Ar Rahim obviously he is making them both as a word to make his calculation secondly he say in this uh, in this page just to, I'm just showing you example how deception work the word Bism Bism appear in the Quran 22 time I will go there and I will type the word Bism. Oh, I made the same mistake again. I click enter. Let us type it again. Here. The word Bism appear in the Quran only three times. Only three times. But he said it is 22 time. So let us go to the roots and search by roots to see what he's talking about. Even with the word, with the roots, it's coming as four time. But by the way, those like this, uh, this word have nothing to do. Like here, tabassam, which means he smile. Have nothing to do with the word bism. So how he come with the number 22 time in the Quran for the word Bism. I want Shabir Ali to show me how he can find the word Bism in the Quran 22 time. So simply it's deception. Those Muslims do not read anything, you know, make an article, say the Quran is the best, this is the book who can make honey out of yogurt. Nobody will argue. As long as you are saying it's a miracle, Muslims, they will shout for you, say, Allahu Akbar, we love you. But nobody wanna, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, search and study. You know, maybe this website is wrong. You see, I'm not, I'm not searching word by word. So I'm going here, here. Search truth, and I'm going to type the word bism, and I'm going to search for any word, any anything have to do connection with it, just to make it go the maximum number we can. Let us see what the number we will get. Five times five times but in his website he said that the word bism appear 20 time so simply it's nothing but a deception and none of those idiot when I go and read and search like what about you make the study yourself to see if those numbers work There's a huge difference between four or five time and a 22 time. And we can do the same for all those words and we will see that those things, they don't work. As an example, the word Yazlumun. You see what I did? I copy the word as it is. He is saying that it come in the Quran 15 time. So I go there and I put the word Yazlumun as it is. Copy paste. All right. So nobody will say I'm not even typing the word exactly as it is. Alright. And I will search. It is 28 time. This is with the roots. Okay. Let us do it without roots. The word as it is. 22, 28 time. So what's happening here? So what those people do simply they collect words have nothing to do with this word and they insert it in the number just to make it fit there's a huge difference between 28 time and 15 time muslims they are watching who speak arabic you will see the word yazlumun 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 you know so how how he is coming with the number that this is 15 time when it is 28 time simply those people are liars and they know that the Muslims will not read they will not read it Muslims read it you see the word here how many how many verses until now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in this page ten And you, you can see the word Yazlumun by yourself, as you see. You see it? Yazlumun, Yazlumun. Alright? 
So you don't, you know, use no moon. The second, the second page have the word use moon. Another ten time. This is twenty already. The third page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how it is fifteen time? When in the Quran it is eight, you know, uh, 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 twenty, twen uh, how many? Twenty-eight. This almost, uh, almost, he, you know, almost the deception is double. And that's why I say Shaibir Ali is a foolish man, because you should not mention something stupid like this. This is can work for those like number seven, number five, four, three, seven, and the seven. Like you know, imagine Shaibir Ali. He is Zakir Naik now. And he is trying to convince you about about this miracle. Brother and sister, the fourth day in the Quran, the there is chapter number seven, there is seven, it means it's seven, it's seven, it's forty-nine, they divide it, it's going to be thirty-ten. Thank you very much. But nobody understand what he's saying, and nobody like anyone have an idea what this guy said. Nothing. So Shabir Ali is nothing but a, a game player. He is not a debater. So my advice to the Christians, regardless who you are, before you debate those people, you need to learn how to play games. Stop debating as a Christian. You see, when you debate as a Christian, let us say it this way. Christians, they debate with good heart that the one is in front of them he is going to give answers according to his belief. Muslims do not do that. Muslims, they debate to win, not to tell the truth. Christian the, the, the debate to tell the truth not to win I'm not saying to you you'll be a liar like, like them no but you need to learn how you corner them if you do not know how to corner them watch my videos and learn and Shabir Ali I'm still waiting for you a few years ago you said you are busy to do your PhD this is why you could not debate me and you send an email apologizing for ABN after you agree to debate me. Still, I'm waiting for you. You're done with the PhD, but still you don't dare to debate me. And I'm waiting for that day, if you dare. Christ is Lord. And those Abdul, they have no idea what they are getting into. See you with more videos. And by the way, don't forget to read my books. Feel free to read my books. Quran and Science in Depth, uh, which actually complete a study with the deception of Allah. So uh, I advise the Muslims before anyone else to read my books and see how horrible their book, how how funny it is, how full of mistake it is. You got the Mickey Mouse book. This is not this is not a book of God. This is not even close to Mickey Mouse book. You know what? Mickey Mouse will not make a stupid stories as you have in your book by the way mickey mouse is hiding right now because muslims they put a fatwa on his head but just the good news he is okay he's in my house all right so muslims please hire better lawyers who they are liars to defend your religion shabir ali is nothing he is a very horrible defender he say nothing he proved nothing, he took nothing, because Islam is nothing. Christ is Lord again, and Islam is false. See you soon.